doing super well. So first of all, you may hear a lawnmower at some point in this video because my neighbors are mowing their lawn and this always happens. It's actually crazy. Anyways, this video is going to be a little bit different from what I usually do. I'm going to be showing you my travel essentials, so everything I need to have with me when I travel. And I'm also going to be showing you a makeup look, hair look, as well as outfit ideas so you can be cozy and comfortable, also look cute when you travel. I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, I'm going to be traveling this week actually on Wednesday, so in three days, and I'm super excited because I'm going to Orlando for Playlist Live with a bunch of my YouTube best friends, actually just three, I don't know why I said a bunch, so Amy, Lauren, and Lauren. I will have all their information down below because this is a collab with them. We're all going to be showing you our travel essentials. We have a bunch of hair, makeup, outfit ideas, essentials, just a bunch of fun. So make sure you check out their videos down below. I think that's everything I have to say. Make sure you leave me a thumbs up down below if you love traveling or if you're going to be traveling anytime soon. I'm going to go ahead and get started and I hope you guys enjoy. So starting off with my makeup, I kind of have two different steps to when I'm doing my makeup when I'm going to travel. The first starts when I'm actually in my room and I'm going to prime my face by moisturizing with a face oil. I'm using my Josie Marin face oil and I'm just patting that all over my face because airplane air is pretty dry so you do have to moisturize before you get on an airplane so I do that first of all. Then I apply a very thin layer of my favorite concealer which is the Maybelline Age Rewind to a certain few areas of my face so right underneath my eyes and on my eyelids. I just like evening out the color of that area, but it's a very thin layer because it's not good to have a bunch of makeup on your face when you're traveling. So I just apply that and then I blend it with my fingers. So up next, I pick up my face or cheek tint, and this is Lolly Tint by Benefit, and I like applying a little bit of color to my face without it being too much makeup again. So I just apply a few swipes to my cheeks and then I blend it with my fingers. I like having a little bit of color on my lips, but color that's not going to blend off after a few hours. So I just apply a little bit of my tint and then I apply a little bit of lip balm on top because I don't want my lips to be dry. So the last step in my travel makeup routine is doing my eyebrows because I think I've probably told you guys this before, but I never leave the house without my eyebrows being done. Like I could just not wear any makeup as long as my eyebrows are done, I'm going to be fine. So. That is it for the first part of my makeup look, basically what I do before I leave the house when I'm going to be traveling. So now we're going to pretend that I'm no longer in my room. I wish I could snap my fingers and like turn my background and do some fancy airplane background, but unfortunately I'm not that good at editing. So we're going to move on to my second part of my travel makeup, which is basically what I do when I'm on the airplane. So. Once I'm about 30 minutes away from landing, I will touch up my makeup and I start off by applying a BB cream that has SPF protection and one of these like cushion BB creams because they are insanely moisturizing. So once I've evened out my entire skin tone, I grab my concealer once again and I cover any blemishes that I have on my face. Since I didn't want to have like a lot of concealer all over my face earlier, I'll just go back in and cover everything up now right before I land. So you know, we look picture perfect once we land. Anyways, I'm just blending everything. And then I decided to kind of touch up my cheek stain again. So this is totally optional. You don't have to do all this all over again, but I just decided to apply a few more swipes and blend them away so my makeup looked totally fresh. So the last step in my travel makeup routine, once we are about to land, I like to apply a few swipes of mascara to my top and bottom lashes. Just be careful to not poke your eye while you're at it. But once you've done that, you're basically done with your travel makeup look. So up next, and this is the last thing that I wanted to show you before we head out the door, is a hairstyle. When I travel, I usually just let my hair be, but sometimes like airplane air can make your hair look dirty and gross. So one way you can prevent this is to put your hair up in a bun. So what I do is I just grab my hair as if I'm going to do a normal ponytail and I wrap it around itself as you just saw here and then I wrap a ponytail holder, that's not what it's called, an elastic, around it twice. But then I decided to add something else to make it a little bit cuter. I just added a heart headband and I placed it right on top of my bangs and I pulled out a few hairs and that is basically it for the hair look. So as promised, I'm going to show you a few tips for what you can wear when you travel. So my first rule is that leggings are your best friends and my second rule is that layering is also key because sometimes airplanes can get stuffy and sometimes they get cold. So you can just layer and then take the layers off if it gets hot. Plus layers just look really travel chic in general, so trust me on this one. Anyways, my leggings and my t-shirt are both from Aerie and then my cardigan is from American Eagle and my scarf is from a local boutique and then as for shoes, I would just pair my outfit with 
with shoes that are easy to put on and off, so my pair of Converse. Anyways, now we are moving on to my travel essentials or what I have in my carry-on bag with me at all times when I'm traveling. So the first thing I always carry is my laptop. I feel like it is my number one essential because I can work, I like to edit on the airplane or while I'm waiting for my airplane, and it's just, you can do a bunch of things on it. You can work, you can do assignments, and if you have free Wi-Fi on the plane, you can just go crazy. So my first essential would definitely be my laptop. So my next travel essential is a notebook or something to write in along with a pen. I really like writing. I like writing down my ideas, any video ideas, what I have to do after I land, or if you're bored, you can just write, you know? And my next essential is a scarf. I already told you guys about my scarf in my outfit, but I just feel like scarves are so important when you travel. You could use it as a fashionable accessory, or you can use it as a blanket, or you could even like bundle it up and use it as a pillow if you don't have any pillows. I just feel like a scarf is a very functional item for when you travel. Next up in my carry-on bag, I have my phone charger. I don't think I even have to explain this. It's pretty important. You guys probably get it. And then after that, I have a little bag with all my tech stuff. So I have my vlogging camera, which is important when I travel. And then I also have my charger for my vlogging camera because without this, it wouldn't be anything. It wouldn't be functional. And after that, I have a portable charger for my phone along with the charger for that. It's like an external battery. It's really cool. You guys should try it out. And then I have my headphones because because traveling without headphones is a total nightmare. You can just block everybody out and rock out or fall asleep. I don't know, it's just that headphones are very functional. So up next, I have my makeup bag inside my travel bag and you guys already saw what was in there. Basically, in my tutorial, that's all I have in there. And next, I have some hand lotion. My skin gets really, really dry, especially on airplanes, so I keep that with me. And I am a germ freak, so I always have some hand sanitizer. And this is my favorite scent, which is Twisted Peppermint. And up next, I have some baby wipes. It may seem weird, but these are really, really functional. You can use them to clean any messes you make. They're just useful when you travel. So that is everything I have in the big pocket of my bag. And then besides, I have a few more things. I have a pack of gum. This is good if you get hungry or if your ears start popping in the airplane so I always carry that with me and then I always carry a snack as well because like I said I get hungry and these are some of my favorite little snack bars okay so in my front pocket I always carry my wallet so in there I carry my IDs and my credit cards but I always also carry cash when I travel along with my business cards you know rep in my YouTube channel and then the very last thing that I keep in my front pocket are any travel documents I need so my passport my plane ticket you know those are kind of important when you travel. So that's it for my video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave me a thumbs up down below. Also, if you want to see more travel inspiration videos, make sure you go into the description box and click on Lauren, Amy, and Lauren's video links, which will be down there. I'm sure you guys will enjoy their videos as well. I think that's everything I have to say. If you're excited that I'm going to play this live, also leave me a thumbs up. Leave me any requests in the comments as usual. And I love you guys so, so much. I send a million kisses your way. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. Hey guys, I hope you're all doing super well. So I'm really excited for this video because it's going to be my very first Valentine's Day video for this year.